In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down some more concepts from the Saints playbook, including what I believe to be one of the most unique runs in Madden 21. It's not really a stretch, it's more of a zone. Um, I think it kind of resembles a little bit of the wide zone concept. We're going to break that down in just a minute, but before we do, those of you that don't know me, my name is Cody and I make Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day on YouTube and I post them on my channel at two o'clock at four o'clock at six o'clock and eight o'clock and it's either an offensive tip or a defensive tip and the entire goal of my channel is to try to do my best job to be able to help you get better at this game so if you're interested in getting better at Madden 21 I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button you could also join us for one of our live streams we stream Madden at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single night right here on our YouTube channel Okay, guys, so I wanted to break this down. This is, uh, and we're just going to go with a random uh, random nickel formation uh, to kind of break this down here for you. Um, but this comes from the I formation in the Saints uh, playbook. And the play that we're going to be running is called Saints HB Zone. And if you look at the bottom right, you're going to notice that um, it says concept inside zone. Even though it looks like an outside zone, even though it looks like maybe even a stretch play. So um, what's cool about this is you can kind of mix this in with other things that you can do from this formation. In my opinion, this might be one of the best running formations in the entire game. And they give you really good passing plays as well. But we're just going to break down some of the runs, specifically the Saints halfback zone. And what you want to do is you want to run this to the wide side of the field, obviously. So we're going to move the ball here. We're going to move it to the left hash. Um, you, you don't have to do that, but I personally think it just gives you a little bit more room um, to be effective. So um, basically here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get onto the defensive uh, line here. But what you'll see is the blocking on the Saints HB zone, what I like about it is it's difficult to shoot because of the steps. If you look at how the quarterback kind of hands this off, it's not really an outside zone. Right? It's really not. It's a much more um, tighter handoff. And what I basically do is I'm going to look at this guard. And if they if they, uh, if they they crash down and they don't set the edge, I'll bounce it outside. If they don't, then I'll just run this uh, right to the middle. Now, what's really cool and what I think really works even better than the right side run is to actually playmaker this run to the left side because you're going to get really, really good blocking here on this. And what's nice about this is... Oftentimes, what you want to do when you run the ball is you want to basically click circle and then use the left directional, um, the left uh, joystick to be able to kind of shift who you are. And right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put myself on the tackle. And what you're going to notice is that tackle is going to always win that block. Whoever you click onto, you're basically going to get oftentimes an instant win animation on that lineman. So you'll see here, I can do this on the left side um, just like this. And here we'll win our block. And as you can see, you can go. Now, the good thing about this run is this is not meant to be a big play run. This is just simply meant to be a simple yard gainer. So, you know, I want you to make sure that you're not, you know, obviously uh, that I'm not saying that you're going to come out and just run this play and you're going to get a touchdown every time. But what I'm saying is what I like about this run is you will oftentimes get positive yardage. Okay. You will get positive yardage. And that is what matters. Um, in my opinion, is running the ball. Now, real quick, before we show you any of the other runs, I want to talk about my text message membership. So some of you guys may know what that is. Some of you may not know what that is. And basically what my text message membership is, is it is a way that I am able to provide you with a little bit deeper level of content, a little bit of that next layer um, of basically how to turn some of these tips and some of these strategies into full schemes that even pro players are using in the uh, MCS and as well as some of my own. So every single week, what I do is I sit down for about 45 minutes to about an hour and I break down some type of scheme on the offensive side of the ball, the defensive side of the ball. Now this is a full scheme um, where we literally show you audibles. We show you what to call, when to call it. Um, it's, it's kind of the, the whole gamut that you can get. Um, when we talk about schemes and we explain everything, why it works, why you need to know it and what you can learn from it and some of the tells. So if you want those high level Madden schemes, what we've broken down in the past is different things like the, uh, U trips from the new England playbook, the ACE slot offset, the split close, the gun bunch from the Carolina Panthers book, the big nickel over G, which is a defense you see a lot of pro players using right now. Um, we've taken all of those kind of videos, all those kind of schemes, and we've broken them down completely for free in our text message membership. And so all you have to do to sign up for this is just shoot me a text message. My cell phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and you can ask me any Madden questions as well because it is my personal cell phone number. So my number is 
216-3644. So just shoot me a text message. Let me know that you'd like to be a part of the text message membership, and I will add you to my list. And whenever we send these out every week, I'll let you know. And again, it is my cell phone number, so don't be afraid to ask questions. You, you can always uh, always hit me up and text me. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. So I uh, just wanted to share that with you really quickly. And real quick, I wanted to come back to this wide zone. Just a little bit, uh, one more thing on this. Um, you're going to oftentimes get penetration from the defense. This run is going to – the reason it says concept inside zone, right, um, is because as a general rule, you're running this thing right down the middle. Meaning you're, and when I say right down the middle, it's really, you're going to basically be running it off of the guard. So like essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of follow my guard. Oftentimes that's where the lane is going to open. Oftentimes that's where the hole is going to be. And that's what you're going to look for. So you'll see here, just follow the guard. Guard gets up, wins that animation. And that's an automatic five yards. And I'm telling you right now from firsthand experience, this is very difficult to shoot for the defense. The defense is going to have a hard time shooting it. Very rarely and every now and then they'll get a block shed. But all in all, this thing is going to be hard to shoot. And now what you can do is you can actually complement this run with something like this specific play right here, the halfback power O. And what's nice about this power O is you'll notice that it has a wide receiver screen attached to it. So if I motion Mike Evans across, you see that he's going to be on a hitch route. And so if I want to, I can easily snap, throw that ball um, if things get tough. Uh, as far as running the ball goes, but I have uh, the power O. Now, the only issue with this power O, at least in my opinion, is that you're only going to be able to run this to the right side of the field. You're not going to be able to playmaker this to the left side. So that's just something you have to be aware about. But you have the counter weak, um, which most people, I think, kind of sleep on this run this year. This is actually a lot better of a run than people realize. And then you have the uh, HB toss. Uh, let me show you the counter weak one more time. But this counter weak, oftentimes, you know, you're if they're trying to shoot gaps, when they're trying to really be aggressive and overextend to stop those outside type of stretches and power O's, this counter weak is really a uh, basically a little trap right up the middle. You're running this, you don't want to run this outside to the left. You know, used to with counters, you wanted to run the ball outside and to the left. What you want to do is you want to run this ball straight directly forward. Um, you know, basically either at the one hole or the three lane uh, to be able to get this through here, uh, and that's really what you're looking for right there. Now, if you know, obviously, you got to win that block. But if we were able to win that block, that would have got us to the second level um, and we would have been able to be in the open field. So that's kind of more what we're looking for. And when they start trying to shoot gaps and stuff like that, this play becomes really, really powerful. And then lastly, you have uh, the HB toss. Now, the HB toss is kind of a hit or miss play. But all in all, I think it's actually a fairly effective play uh, once you've established everything else because they're going to have to, you know, do some different things to be able to stop you. And this little toss play, just get out there quick. You know, if they're running heavy shooting, run defenses you might be able to break that but all in all guys this saints hb inside zone here this is one of my favorite runs in the game and again i wouldn't say it's necessarily wide zone it's not necessarily stretch it's not even necessarily a blast run it's kind of a unique run in of itself i would say it's most comparable to a wide zone type of blocking scheme um you know and when i'm trying to run wide zone i really love the saints playbook because this play kind of works like that um as far as just how the blocking works the mechanics of the play um, you don't want to try to bounce us outside unless you get that clear double team. If you get that clear win, and not even a double team, but if you get that clear win on the tackle and they can't get that, because basically what you're doing in, in, in wide zone terminology is you're pushing the edge. You're not necessarily setting the edge. You're not necessarily trying to get out aside the edge. You're pushing the edge. And then if the run comes back, if they set it, see here how he's not setting the edge and I can get outside. That's kind of what I'm talking about. So you want to take that one gather step and on that fifth step, you're going to make a decision. Are you going to run this outside or inside? Now, oftentimes, this has just been my experience, um, oftentimes you're going to run this inside. So you're going to run it out here, then you're going to basically cut it right up, up the middle of the field. Um, sometimes you will actually push the edge. So it's, that's where that's reading. You're reading what they're going to do. But as you see here, if you get in the open field, like this thing can be really, really deadly. And all in all, I just think this is a really, really difficult run to shoot. So... Anyways, guys, wanted to share that with you. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We may show you some passing plays from this. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a little bit more under center passing. Um, obviously, you can use this in combination with everything that we taught you from the um, compression set as well as some other sets in the Saints book. I think the Saints book is actually, um, I think it's very underrated. Um, you know, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of competitive players using this, but I actually think this could be a pretty decent competitive book because of how effective um, this run is, I mean, this run is really, really good and not very many people are talking about it because 
I think just not very many people are using the Saints book this year. Uh, most people are using Las Vegas Raiders. But, I I mean, I'm telling you, this run's really tough. It's really tough to shoot. It's really tough to stop. So try it out if you're using the Saints book. And the Saints book has obviously several really, really good formations. Got a good five wide. You got a good pistol bunch tied in. Um, you've got that. Uh, I think you got shotgun bunch too. Uh, so you have all kinds of different things. But the tight offset tight in, uh, in combination with all this stuff, this thing is a really good, uh, really, really good playbook. So, anyways, that is the uh, HB zone as well as some other runs that you can use uh, whenever you want to audible down. This thing is obviously masterful in short yardage. I mean, just it's it's just tough to shoot. It's tough to stop in the backfield. It's you can contain it for three to five, but it's really hard to stop this run uh, in the backfield, especially if you ID and kind of use some of the, the tools and the techniques that uh, that we've come to know and love about running the ball in Madden 21. So that's the video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to text me. If you want to get those free Madden schemes, uh, just shoot me a text message right now. We have nine out. You'll get all nine of them as soon as you send me a text. Um, and then obviously we add a new one to it every single week and you'll be updated of that as well. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in a bit.